Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And in the last couple of episodes, we were going over how to set up your payment gateways. And that's exactly what we did. We set up a couple in Stripe and one in PayPal. And then we also set up a product in uh, PayPal version one and a little opt-in page for that. But what I realized is we did not go over at all how to set up a subscription in these three different gateways. And so that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to start off with the easiest one of all, and that is your PayPal version two. So let's just go into our product that we had set up originally. And again, this was a one-time product we had before. Now we're going to turn it into a subscription product. So we'll just click on edit. And instead of PayPal product, let's make this PayPal subscription. Let's just say just sub even. And it'll stay at PayPal for our integration. And let's say what we want to do is we want to have a $1 trial and then $47 a month for a total of a year in this membership. Now with PayPal, you can do a $1 trial. With Stripe, you cannot. It has to be a free trial. So we're going to put in $47 for our amount. It's US dollars. And then here for our price override, we can put in something like $1 trial and $47 for 11 months or something like that. Anything you can put in there. Or you can just leave it blank and it'll just show the $47. But I think this explains it a little bit better. And then we'll come down and we will click on subscription and we can put in a plan name. You can call it anything you want. I had already tested this, so we'll just go with trial, $47 per month. Uh, frequency, this again will be monthly. The trial period we're gonna put in is 30 days. And the max number of charges, we're just going to have a total of 12, including the one for the free paid trial, and that's going to be for $1. And it's that simple. That's all you have to do to set this up. So it'll charge them $1 immediately. It'll have 12 total payments. It will have the second payment after 30 days, and it'll charge them monthly. And you click on update your product, and that's all you have to do to set up version 2, PayPal version 2 subscription subscription. Now let's look at what do we have to do to set up a PayPal version one subscription. And in this case here, we have to go up and we have to click on settings once the page is done reloading. And we'll scroll all the way down to the bottom. Again, if you're going to actually be running through and testing this, you want to make sure that you have your SMTP configuration set properly. You want to make sure you have your proper Stripe account selected. You, in this case, I have two, so we'll just select this one. If you're going to be in test mode, you want to make sure that's turned on. And then we'll go down to the bottom, and let's, again, just take that existing product that we had. We'll click on Edit. And again, we'll do the same thing. We'll just uh, call this PayPal Sub. And again, we'll use our PayPal integration. We're going to go $47 per month. Amount of the currency is U.S. dollars and free plus shipping. Well, again, we'll change that one out to $1, $47 per month. And then we're going to create a cart product. So we'll just back this up and we'll just say PayPal-sub is what we will call it. And what we want to do is just copy this out and then click on update the product. Now we have to go into our PayPal and you go up to tools. Once you log in, come down to all tools and you end up on this page and we'll come down to our PayPal buttons like we did earlier when we uh, just did a single product. And now instead of clicking on buy now, we're going to click on subscribe and we'll fill this out just like we did before. Item name will be, we'll just call this our PayPal subscription. Uh, let's even just call it uh, 47. And then we'll put in that ID that we copied out of ClickFunnels. We'll scroll down here, and uh, the billing amount each cycle will be $47. And we're going to have billing cycle is going to be how long. You could be have any period of months or days or weeks. You could charge them every three days. You could charge them every 12 years, whatever you want here. But we're going to charge them once a month. After how many cycles should the billing stop? And we're going to make that 12 months. And do I want to offer a trial? Yes, I do. I want that to be a $1 trial. 
And we can, again, set that for whatever time period you want, but we're going to set it for one month. And then if you want to create a second trial, you can click yes, and you can fill out the same uh, items again. Now, the next thing we do is we scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you guys have done this before, so we're going to come in here. We're going to copy out the notify URL. We're going to paste it right there, and I just realized I shouldn't have closed out this form yet. I thought we were done. We'll come back into this form, and we'll come down, and we will copy out this webhook right here and put that into PayPal. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to put in the URL if they cancel the checkout and the URL if they finish the checkout. So again, as we did before, what we want to do is come up and we want to say if they if they um, back out, if they cancel, we want them to send them back to the page they had come from, which will be our PayPal version one test page. So we will simply copy out that URL and we will check the box, put that in, and where do we want them to go? If they finish their purchase, we want them to go to the upsell page. So we will copy that out. And paste it in. And now we click on create our button. And as we talked about earlier, you can take this web form right here. You can put this entire form into a page and it will create a button that looks like this. Or what we want to do is we want to grab what it's called here for the email. We want to copy that. And because you can use this anywhere, you can use this in an email, you can use it as a link on a page, you can use it as a button. And in our case here, we're going to use it as a button. So let's just go back into our PayPal version one. Let's open up the editor. And you see I have a Stripe product at the top, but we want to come down to buy with PayPal version one. And if you wanted that PayPal button, this one right here, you could drop in a custom JavaScript HTML box. And then when we open that up, you can see that the whole web form is, is right there. Or what we're going to do is we're just going to use our button and we're going to put that link into our button. And so instead of having it submit the form, what we want to do is we want to put that link in right here, just like I had for the single product. This will now be the link for the subscription product. And so when somebody comes into this page and they say, yeah, I want to pay with PayPal, they'll just click on this and the page will open up for them to be able to put in their stuff, log into PayPal, or even just use their credit card right within PayPal. So now we have one left to go, and that is going to be our Stripe product. So let's take a look at Stripe. You come into your Stripe account, make sure you pick your the right uh, account you want to be using, and then you click on Billing and come down to Products. And you see here several products I already have set up, and let's just click on one of them and take a look on the inside. And so it gives you, you uh, it generates a product ID and you put in the name and the selector and the amount you're going to charge and all that. So let's go and create a new product. And it's been a while since I created one of these. So let's see how well we do. And let's call this CF Ninja Hacks. Let's, uh, so let's call this CF Ninja Hacks dash 47 because we're going to charge $47 a month. Unit label, let's just call this monthly and statement descriptor this is for your bank statements so let's again let's just go cf ninja hacks but instead of annual let's just make this monthly and let's click on create our product plan nickname this won't be visible to anybody so let's just go cf ninja hacks dash 47 optional ID and it says they recommend that you leave it blank so we're going to do that recurring quantity we want that checked now here's something I haven't really played with but you can set up tiers so you can say for the first zero to let's just say one product um, we can have a price per unit or we could have a flat fee. Let's just say it's $20 for the first one and then let's say uh, let me see, we need to add another tier, and then two to five, 
let's say we want $15 going forward on that one, and then uh, 6 to infinity, that's good. Let's just say it's $10. Now, that might be good. Like I said, I have not tested this. I have not played around with it, but you might want to think about that if you're looking at uh, quantities of product, like a lot of the guys are selling, you know, get uh, get 3, get 5, get 10. So you might want to give that a, a shot. I was just looking at that the other day. But for us, we need a price per unit, and we're going to say $47 per month, and the billing interval will be monthly. Again, it could be any one of these. And then we got a trial period. Yes, we want to put in a trial period, but in this case here, as I said before, you can't have a $1 trial, so you're not able to bill their credit card up front, uh, but you are able to do a 30-day trial on this. And so now let's find the save button. Let's go add the pricing plan. And here it is all set. So now let's go back into our Stripe account or our Stripe page that we have set up. And we will take our existing Stripe product and we will modify that and make it a subscription product. So before we had like $7.95 free plus shipping. And of course, we're going to change that now. So we'll do the same here. We'll do Stripe sub. We have our Stripe account set. We're going to do $45 or $47, I should say, US dollars. And then here we're going to say um, free trial plus $47 per month. Okay. And again, you can leave that blank. You don't have to put anything in there. Now we will click on subscription and our product description. This is for on the credit card, so you can put whatever you want in there. And then here's the nice part because we set this up over in Stripe. Now if we click on this, we can pick out the product that we want to use because it's already been set up inside of Stripe. So we just click the product. It knows exactly what to do and how to, uh, how to bill somebody. And now we have the number of payment plan payments. We're going to put in 12 payments and we got a 30 day trial and that is it. We click on update product and we have just created a subscription product inside of Stripe. So that's it. We just, in a matter of about 10 minutes, we created three different subscription products in three different payment gateways. So if you have any more questions on this, reach out to ClickFunnels Support. And until next time, have a great day.